Injection molding is another fascinating engineering and manufacturing process that produces packaging and containers that have hundreds of uses. It's often used to make smaller plastic products at high volumes. Injection molding relies mostly on precision machinery, which isn't labor intensive. Another advantage is that very little waste is produced in this process, as no trimming is required. The raw material, in granular form, is fed via a hopper into the feed barrel, which is heated to help melt the granules and evenly disperse the colorant, called master batch. The molding machine has a number of cavities, which are designed to determine the final shape, size and form of the containers being made. Before the molten plastic is injected into the mold, a special label is placed into each cavity of the mold by an automated robot. The label is held in place by static, around what's called a label cone, and is then released inside the cavity. Once the label is in place, the molten plastic is injected under pressure into each cavity and fills the cavity between the two mold halves. Once the cavity is filled, the molds are cooled. This allows the plastic to retain its shape before the mold halves separate and the plastic components are ejected. This process, which produces a container fused with the label, is known as in-mold labeling. It's a very convenient and useful process for manufacturers of products such as yogurt, ice cream and margarine. The final product is now ready to be packaged and distributed to the manufacturer who will fill the container.